By practicing social distancing and simply staying at home, we're all playing a vital role in helping to stop the spread of coronavirus. But for some essential workers, home is a place they haven't been for quite some time. New York Ron Lee has a story. You know, uh, there's a lot I'm missing uh, at home. I mean, um, I have older uh, children uh, that are still living with me. Uh, so you kind of miss the, uh, the direct stories, you know, the one-on-one -on -one that we usually do every day. Anthony Ruggiero has not been to his home in Bergen Beach, Brooklyn, since March 23rd. And while he misses his family and is craving a home-cooked meal from his wife, Conchetta. She's a great cook. That reunion will have to wait until Monday, nearly a month since they last saw each other. Ruggiero, a gas system operator for National Grid, tells me when his company asked for volunteers to be sequestered for 30 days at work, he signed up without hesitation, knowing he would be providing an essential service. We really have to do what we have to do to get natural gas to our customers. Uh, no one else can do it but us, so it is so important. National Grid says this gas control center on Long Island monitors and runs pipelines that serve New York City and the state. The utility says its decision to sequester 25 essential workers to staff this department was part of a strategy to prevent COVID-19 from disrupting the critical operations performed here. National Grid has set up other sequesters across its system, as have other utilities. There was a, a desire almost to get to, to get into sequester because we were all afraid that we may have interaction and, and become sick and then bring it in and, and spread it around the room. And then that would be a challenge of how we keep the operation functioning. National Grid would not disclose if there were any financial incentives to entice workers to sign up to be sequestered. The workers cannot leave the site during their off hours. Ruggiero has been sleeping in this RV in the company parking lot. Some control center workers sleep in nearby conference rooms. And Ruggiero says there has been at least one unexpected benefit. Believe it or not, I'm having a blast doing my own laundry. It's kind of relaxing, so, you know, I'm enjoying it. I'm ready to do it when I get home. Ruggiero tells me his wife has promised to make him his favorite dish, a spaghetti dinner, for his first meal home. He's also been told by his wife that she's saving two bags of laundry for him to do. In Bergen Beach, Ron Lee, New York One. We're learning that little acts of kindness can go a long way.